chicken. There was a chick following it outside. <gasps> there is? Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. And I tried to see if I can grab that chick, but it protected it. It did? Cool. Okay, just a minute. Let me finish Neville's vitamins here. But Neville, if you just hold still, you can finish them. <laughs> Okay, next I'm going to attempt to give him his vitamins. He doesn't like them very much. He doesn't like to be caught. And since he's feeling better, he's super feisty. And I can hardly get them down him. You can stick the vitamins in water. But since he doesn't like the taste of them, I didn't want to do that because I was afraid that he might not drink enough water. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Oh, there is? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. And I tried to see if I can grab that chick, but it protected it. It did? Cool. Okay, just a minute. Let me finish Neville's vitamins here. But Neville, if you just hold still, you can finish them. <laughs> Come on. Do you, no. want me, do you want me to hold them? Yeah, if you want to help me, that <laughs> might help. <laughs> hold him still. Come on, Neville. I think we need to invent a squeeze chute for chickens. Neville. Uh, uh, do you want to know how I found that little chick? How did you find it? I heard like a, I heard like his little peeping. You did? Oh my goodness, I didn't even know we had a hen, a brood of hens anywhere. And I thought it was just like a wild. <laughs> Barn chicken, a wild barn chicken. <laughs> what? One of the barn. You thought it was just a wild. One of the wild birds. <laughs> okay, now well, come on. You've just got a little bit more medicine to take, and we'll be done. He's rough. He's a hard one, isn't he? There. There's a few drops left, but I'm gonna say you took it all. Okay, you ready to go? The chick was so cute. It was so tiny and it had like a little yellow face on it. A little oh. yellow on it. It was so cute. Oh my goodness. You think we should leave the chick with it? Do you want to look you 
she's teaching him how to scratch and look for food. to catch like the hen and this baby and put in the chicken tractor. Let the chicken raise them. It's just contain them. Yeah, contain them so nothing will happen. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, this is really good. Catch, the, catch her. Good job, you got her. Can you hold to her? Yeah. You ready to put them in there? Yep. Okay. How will, will she try to jump out though? I don't know. I don't think she will with her chick, will she? Yeah. She is really protective, it looks like. Yeah. I think if you just set the chick, set, go ahead and set the chick down in there, and then we'll put her down there. Okay. She is feisty. Chicks like cross breed, right, Mom? Probably. Okay, here we go get. Isn't she sitting on the chest to keep it warm? She is. Oh, that is so cute. You know that's kind of cool. Now we kind of get. Now I kind of get to watch like what the chickens will do with their chicks. You know? Yeah. Like how to like protect them. You know? It'll be a fun learning experience. Yeah. Next, we can put food and water for it in for the chick. So put both of them in. Here, I'm gonna put it like where the rain can't get. Is okay. That a good idea. Yep. Again, but the chicken won't let me, will I? No, it's 
best to leave him alone for right now and just let her teach him how to do everything. We, you can maybe hold him when he gets just a little older. That way she feels safe and secure. She's trying to tell him that the food's over there. He's like, come on, little chicky. He'll probably find it in a little while. There he's eating. So I just have one question. What? <laughs> Where was that hen when I had turkey eggs that I was wanting to hatch? I don't know. <laughs> Hey Brooke, we have a surprise for you. We do. Yes, don't we Miley? Yep. Um, last time you guys were acting like that, um, uh, I walked into the barn and I seen a cow. <laughs> so, I wonder what it could be this time. <laughs> well, we promise that it won't be anything quite that big this time. <laughs> okay. Look in there. You see? Oh my goodness. Look at oh, it's so cute. <laughs> and this time people won't let me hold hold it, will she? Probably not. I mean, you can probably carefully, quietly go in there and see. Mm -hmm. She's pretty protective. She did kind of have a fit when we got him, but once she re once she saw that we were actually, you know, not gonna take him or separate him from her, she was better. Isn't that just so cute? Yeah, it's just so cute. Mm -hmm. No little brown face. Hello. Oh, so what type is it? Probably um, rainbow. Rainbows. Or what's that? Or Gary's. I think it might be Gary's. Yeah. I was thinking Neville, but Neville. because the the chick itself looks like a baby chick. Yeah, that like is Neville. true. Kind of does look like but what Neville looked like. It could very well be because you know how Neville is. Yeah. <laughs> that reminds us of a very funny story about Neville. Um, the very first year that we had chickens, we got them from our local um, feed store here, and we ended up getting a black Australorp rooster in the group. And um, so he grew up, he was a really beautiful rooster, and we decided that we wanted to get some Australor pins to go with him so that way we can try breeding them. So the next spring, we ordered the hens, and we ended up with Neville, and he was the freebie that they sent us. Okay, so he grew up in, the, in this coop up here by the house with those Australor pins. Well then, once they got big and mature, we took them, along with Mr. Rooster and we stuck him in the middle coop so that way he could breed him and then we could gather the eggs and then go ahead and hatch him. Okay, well um, we did that and we kept him in the middle coop for probably about a week or two weeks and then we gathered the eggs. Okay, well then when the eggs hatched 80% of them uh, turned out to be nettles. So then, after that, we did some more research and we found that a hen can hold sperm for, I think, up to, what, a month or something? And obviously, they had been holding Neville's for a while. And boy, was he ever proud to have a bunch of offspring running around. <laughs> so, we waited for about another month and we did another hatching and we did end up with some Australorps out of the group. And in fact, she ended up with another rooster and she took it to the fair and ended up getting grand champion on it. So, 
it was really awesome but you know it was just funny because you know how Neville is he just thinks he's quite the rooster and he proved that he was <laughs> <laughs>